Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garb, did I say a lime? I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth. So viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, which by the way, I'm gonna have to start changing my intro soon because YouTube is not being really nice to me right now. But anyway, if you're not into that, <laughs> This is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to accept the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Y'all, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. I am, I am excited. I'm excited for today because I had a very long day where I had to do a lot of stupid things and I just want to have a couple of adult visions and I just want to talk about makeup. Now, if you've never heard of New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, maybe you're in for a treat. This idea was created and crafted by my wonderful friend, Imperfectly M. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, except when we call upon the makeup products, we call upon them as if they're playing bingo. <laughs> it's not really complicated beyond that. <laughs> We have a couple of adult libations. We have a fun bingo card. It's a whole moment. Any hoosies, if you ever want to play, everything you need to know will be in the description box down below, along with a community playlist. That said, definitely go check out my wonderful friend and perfectly M. And tell that babe I said hi. So with that, let me show you the makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, bitch, welcome to makeup, makeup new nonsense bingo. What? Welcome to new makeup nonsense bingo. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Did I already start drinking? Yes. Did I wipe off the straw pretending as if it was my first sip? Yes, because I'm a liar. <laughs> Anyway, what am I drinking tonight? Something a little bit different. Normally I talk about gamer subs and I still love gamer subs, but I just discovered that Liquid Death, my good friends over at Liquid Death, they don't know me. <laughs> Oh, the fuck I am. Liquid Death, who I absolutely adore because they make really, really good mountain water. They also make like some sort of sparkling water, but I don't fuck with carbonation, so I can't speak to that. But they make iced tea. And tonight we have an armless Palmer, which essentially is an Arnold Palmer, except I added also vodka to it, making it that much better. And I did not put ice in it. So it <laughs> it's just that kind of day. It's unhinged bingo day, okay? So with that said, let's see what bullshit comes across our plates today. Okay, I'm a clown, okay? <laughs> I'm a fucking clown because when I first saw this I was like fuck this shit and then I'm like so where do I put my debit card <laughs> makeup revolution <laughs> Makeup Revolution, which I feel like we haven't heard from them in a hot minute, by hot minute, maybe like a couple of weeks, but they're coming out with the Monsters University collection, which I saw a lot of people in the comments being like, that movie came out like 25 years ago, and like they were losing their shit. I'm not bothered by that. It's like, whatever. It was bound to happen, right? I feel like with all the collaborations that Disney has been putting out, Monsters was on the fucking table. It's just now it's their turn. I think the thing that I'm upset about, and I'm upset, is that that big palette, there is like, no green in it. Like, I'm sorry, but like, there's two main characters, right? One is blue and purple. The other one is fucking green. Green. And the only green they have is some weird fucking green that's not even his green. <laughs> it's like, there's no lime green. It was disturbing. I was like, so mad about this. How could they do that to him? Like, I was getting like really upset. 
<laughs> which then I had to remind myself uh, not to be that person, you know? <laughs> So I had to like take it like a chill for a second. And then I came back and I looked at the collection and I went, well, it's kind of cute. <laughs> So what did I pick up, you ask? Bitch. I'm actually kind of mad because I was not, my little fat fingers weren't fast enough, so I didn't get the fucking highlighter. The thing that I was really, really excited about, I didn't get. Me, highlighter queen, I didn't get it. But no, instead what I got was obviously the makeup bag, because your bitch loves a good makeup bag. A lot of y'all have been asking if I got the e.l.f. collection, the new one with the strawberry poof thing. I did. And I'm just waiting for it to show up. But e.l.f. said it ships stuff out, I think, between 7 to 15 business days. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even, I, there's not enough vodka in my house, okay? For that conversation, there just isn't. But I was like, really, Elf? Really, bitch? Anyway, so I got the makeup bag. I had to get the blush because the blush looked fun and it was cream and I was like, ooh. I got two palettes. So I got the one palette with the actual green in it because I felt like that was a fair representation. <laughs> And then I got the one, not the one where it looks like um, my highlighter with Lethal Cosmetics, the one that looked like bacon. I didn't get that one, but instead I got the one that has like the kind of purple swirly doohickey. It's kind of more of a pink and purple palette. I got those two. And then I got a basic bitch lipstick. Everything else was kind of meh. I would totally fuck with the brushes, but I know the brushes are not gonna be the best quality. Also, I don't like the fact that that canister is probably like heavy cardboard. In the promo pick, there was like a little locker and I, don't understand why they didn't create like a little locker, a little place to like put your brushes. That would have been fucking cute, but instead like, you know, like fucking who am I, right? <laughs> Obviously someone who doesn't have any good ideas. So instead they just had this stupid fucking tube thing that I just imagine that's what the eighties were like when people put messages in tubes in an office and it just like circled around. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Okay. <laughs> that was a thing. Okay. Apparently a thing back then. Anyway. I love it and I hate it. <laughs> like I, I think like execution wise, some things are really, really adorable, but I feel like it missed the mark a little bit in terms of like actual colors for the fucking, um, I don't know, main characters. But I'm excited. Like, I know I go through these stages. I'm such a fucking Libra where I'm just like, fuck this. I'm like, man, the bad Disney bad. And then I'm like, that's so good. <laughs> And today I'm like just feeling good, you know? Like I just wanna turn my frown upside down today. So I'm actually for this. I'm trying it for science basically, but really I just wanted that goddamn bag and I'm so sad that I didn't get the highlighter. Ugh. Anyway, um, I would say this is Makeup Revolution um, because it's apropos, but I already bought it. So I guess that's more appropriate, right? <sighs> With that said, I already fucking bought this and expect a review of it in the near future. Next. The next product is, mm, mm, I'm scared y'all. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared with this one. So, okay. Um, I know we talked about Glamlight coming out with like a scream collection and I was like screaming like, you better like not fuck this up. <laughs> and I'm afraid I think that they might fuck this up. <laughs> As someone who is newly affiliated with the brand, I'm sure they're gonna love this, but I gotta be true to myself, right? I gotta be honest here. I'm not loving this. I'm not loving it. I... Hi, does this kind of look like the Chucky palette? It kind of does, right? And granted, it's only, only three shades. Only three shades, right? But it's just giving me that Chucky vibe. And I'm like, Scream, Scream is like, Scream so much more than just the nice colors. <laughs> I need, a, I need to, if I don't see a green, I'm gonna lose my mind. If I don't see a green or a denim blue, I'm gonna lose my shit. And right now it's like, granted, I mean, granted, like there is like a fun duochrome thingy, majiggy, that looks good. But the other two shades, I'm like, I fucking, I don't, I don't care about them. I don't, and even actually, even the duochrome, I feel like that's not even scream. I don't, I'm scared. I'm scared that this is not gonna be good. And they're probably not gonna send it to me now. <laughs> They're probably not gonna send it to me now. And I mean, listen, yeah, I get it. I hate me too. Like, it's fine. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I I don't know. Also, is this palette small? Is this just like a small palette? I'm confused because, well, okay. It could be two things. That could be a highlighter palette, which <laughs> has nothing to do with screen, but I still want it. <laughs> or is it gonna be like a smaller palette? Kind of like the Scooby-Doo palettes, which I'm like, I didn't like that formula in those fucking Scooby Doo palettes. So I'm scared. I don't know how this is gonna turn out and my asshole's puckering, okay? But I think at the end of September, it's gonna be released. Oh God, oh my God. I'm already hyperventilating. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do the next six, six weeks. Like I don't 
no <laughs> and i'm scared okay i don't want them to fuck it up but i feel like they might fuck it up and i'll fucking hate that because when i usually think that it usually means i'm right and trust me i want to be wrong i want to be wrong so badly but i feel like this might not be what i think it's gonna be on the bright side there's gonna be a mirror <laughs> So at least the mirror is fucking great. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I need to be more positive. I need to be not in such a down, dark, depressing place about this. Like I need to be, I need to feel good. I need to send out good vibes, okay? I need to send good vibes out to the good people of Glam Life to make this better than what I think it's going to be. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> That sounded like I was actually pushing something out, right? That's what it felt like. Ooh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> um, I don't think I can call this anything except I'm scared and I feel like everything, oh God, I, you know what? Maybe it's my fault that I was like banking this collection to be the thing that saved 2023 and I don't think it's gonna be what I want it to be. I think it's gonna be a rehashing of the Chucky palette and it's gonna make me like really mad, like really mad and um, <laughs> you know, if my affiliation's short-lived, it's short-lived. <laughs> so fucking be it. I, I, I hope for the best, expecting the worst. I don't have anything else to say, and I don't think I can put this on my bingo card except for who. Um, and that's not a thing on, on my bingo card, so <laughs> we'll just say next. Next. I don't know what this is, um, but it's terrifying. So, Dior. <laughs> Okay, I'm so, <laughs> okay, so there's a perfume that looks like this, okay? It looks like a tchotchke from your grandmother's house um, that couldn't be more than like $3.99 and she got it at a fucking yard sale, okay? So this is the Blooming Bouquet Collector's Bottle. Bobby's a near dear and the founder of the house because it belonged to his four-legged friend, which is, I, I love dogs and that sounds cute, but like this is like, why does a dog look like this? Why does the dog's face look like that? Just like, I don't know. <laughs> he looks unsure on the bottle. Like, I, I don't even think he wanted to be on there. Plus, it's just, I hate, I hate this. I hate, okay, fine. So this bottle is housed in a beautiful case decorated with multicolored flowers and makes a sophisticated gift for yourself or someone special. I would not give this as a gift to someone special. They'd probably be like, what the fuck? Where did you find this? Um, especially when I tell them the price of it, then they're gonna literally punch me in my face and rightfully so. This is available now. It's $750. I repeat, it's $750 for three ounces. Dior came out with something like this for $750. Something that we all know you can find at your local swap meet. And they probably put it in a perfume that I can only equate to probably smelling like funeral home vagina. I hate this. I hate this. And I just, you know what? It kind of gets to the point where things like that are, I guess, really meant for rich people are just so fucking ugly. They're so ugly. Why is it the more money something is, the fucking uglier it is? I don't understand. And this is one of those things that like, this shouldn't have been made. Like, I don't know who okayed this, but this should have not been okayed. Like they could have done like a tasteful thing and not made this really weird version of like a demon dog. I don't know what the fuck this is. The more I look at it, the more I look, first of all, like it's kind of strange because of like how the bottle's positioned. The dog is like, on his hind legs, his little front paws are like this, but because of how the bottle looks, it just makes him look like he's like a little jacked bodybuilder, except they cut his arms off and it's just a dog head on top of it. It's what I think um, from like Toy Story, <laughs> like Sid, <laughs> the kid in the backyard making all those like mismatched toys, like that's what I get from this. The more I look at it, the more I get uncomfortable. <laughs> So for that, I say she doesn't go here. She doesn't belong in my house or your house or anybody's houses. This doesn't even belong in a warehouse. This should be buried deep in the earth. But even that, that's kind of insulting to the earth. I don't know what to do with these, but they just should not be here. <laughs> Maybe we can get the aliens to come collect them and then they can kind of throw them out into another universe. I don't know, but I just don't like this. So with that said, we're gonna call this, she doesn't go here, cause she doesn't go here. She sure as shit doesn't go here. Ew. Next. Actually, footnote to that, if you do actually ever see this, if you ever remember that, like, oh, you see this in person and you just remember my nonsensical rant, if you could somehow comment back on this video to just let us know what it smells like. I'm curious, but not that curious, you know, whatever. If you're like, around, you know, if not, like no big deal. Okay, <laughs> next.
Okay, so I really, really love this. And I just, anything that Barbie comes out with, I'm like, I'm a fucking sucker for. And before you even ask, no, I have not seen the Barbie movie, okay? I just haven't. It's, I've been so busy at work and just my schedule has just been fucking, I, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't, can't even schedule sleep anymore. So I haven't been able to go to the movies. But when I do, it's probably going to be out of the movie theater. <laughs> And it'll probably be on like Max or Peacock. And I'll be very excited. But as soon as it comes to that Xbox store, I'll pay. I'll pay the $30. I will because I really want to see it. Even though I should not pay $30 for a movie because like that's what the fuck. Neither here or there. Anyway, so Barbie and Lush are having a nice little collaboration. And um, yeah, I like this, right? I think it's really cute. But I definitely think the Super Mario collaboration is so much cuter though. But I don't mind it. I don't hate it. There's something kind of cute about it. They're kind of like a little rough around the edges, which is kind of funny because because I feel like most Barbie collaborations have been pretty, pretty solid for the most part. Like they're usually kind of top quality, even like the Nick stuff, for example, like that whole collection. Yeah, it was plastic, but it was fucking done really, really nicely. This kind of has a little rough around the edges to it, but it's still really, really cute though. So it looks like you have a boom box soap for $10. You have the bubble bar car for $11, which reminds me of, oh my God. Okay. For all my babes, <laughs> all my Murphy babes. Um, <laughs> that played the Barbie supermodel game for Super Nintendo. If you know, you know. If you remember, I think it's like act two or whatever, where it's like Barbie's going to meet. I don't know if she's meeting like her Hollywood agent or she's just having lunch alone. I don't know. But anyway, like Barbie's driving, but also it seems like Barbie's drinking a little bit and she's like hitting people, but like instead of killing them, they just bounce off and her car disappears for a second. I don't know, it's a, it's a, a moment. But anyway, um, when I see that, I kind of want to get it just for that moment because I, I love that level. It was so fun. Not like hitting people, but trying to... <laughs> trying to like navigate, you know, through especially like the slower cars, you know. Barbie obviously was having like a liquid lunch that day. I don't know. I had a lot of fun with that game. Anyway, <laughs> moral of the story is it resonates with me. And for that, I love it. The next one is the Heart Body Bomb, which is really, really cute. That's probably the nicest one, I would say, because it looks like finished and it looks smooth, right? The other ones kind of just look a little bit more rough. Then you have the Dream Sugar Scrub. You have the Handbag Soap, the Heel Soap which the heel one's kind of weird. I wish that like little piece underneath the heel was kind of taken away, it takes away from it. Then you have like the jelly mask, the Barbie pink shampoo, the Barbie body spray, Barbie world liquid cherry perfume, and then the Barbie comb. Oh my God, wait, there's a Barbie comb, wait. <laughs> Ma'am, hold on, excuse me. Where's the Barbie comb? I don't see the Barbie comb. You lie, there's a Barbie comb. Apparently these items are centered with custard and rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting combination. Uh, too bad I can't really smell all that well. So to me, it's probably just going to smell like smell. If my people watching this video who don't really have a good sense of smell know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. When something kind of just smells and you're just like, I can't identify this. That's what I imagine this smells like. Anyway, I like it. I think it's really cute. But again, like I said before, I definitely think the Super Mario one was done a little bit nicer. The whole thing just seemed a little bit more special than say this, but I still think it's really cute. So um, for that, I'm gonna say nostalgia we meet again because I feel like that's appropriate. I love Barbie and I love that there's like a, a huge resurgence for it and I hope that it continues because I want to see more cosmetic companies that come out with more Barbie stuff. I need that. The world needs that. Next. Daddy! Our good lord and savior Colourpop is here and this collection is so boring. <laughs> Um, Colourpop, what the fuck is going on? I feel like we need to do a wellness check because for, I'm sorry, for the past couple of weeks, I feel like you haven't really been present. I just want to check in and make sure that you're okay. You know, do you need anything? Um, because you're kind of just putting out nonsensical shit. <laughs> Again, you, I love that word, nonsensical, but it's nonsensical. This is the Rock On Collection. Get ready to rock our new Rock On Collection. Take a trip to Red Rock with our all new palette and super shock shadows inspired by the warm desert elements. Okay, so this is launching by the time y'all see this. It has already launched. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's a warm tone palette. It's a urban decay, naked heat kind of a moment. Um, it's cute, you know, and if you like those reddish tones, you know, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I don't know what's going on. What the fuck? You know what? Actually, 
this year has kind of been weird for the brand, I feel like, because some things have they have done like a really, really good job on. I've been enjoying these little cream blushes. Those have been fun. They kind of revamped a lot of their new packaging for some stuff. They came out with lip products that I actually fucking like. The first batch of multi-chromes, because I stand by those multi-chromes, that didn't burn my eyes out. <laughs> And then followed by the next ones that burn my eyes out. <laughs> But the fun doesn't stop there. They have been putting out a lot of interesting, weird collaborations, and then they've just kind of been missing the mark, especially with the last collection, the Naruto, Naru whatever the fuck, that fucking thing. Just a sea of IPs that just, I feel like, really make no fucking sense. I don't know, like, they're just kind of having a weird year. Which, granted, I'm having a weird year. Like, this is a not a great year for me, and I sympathize with them. <laughs> You know, ColourPop, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Like, I shouldn't even be coming down at you. Like, we should be, like, just talking it out and, like, just kind of checking in with each other, just kind of just seeing, you know, maybe we can just trauma dump on each other a little bit. <laughs> A little bit and just like get get it out because it, we're both working through something right now okay uh, if i see one more tiktok video telling me that libra is in their villain era i'm gonna fucking lose my shit okay <laughs> because i'm like you know what gotta make sense now i feel like i'm a major twat these days so <laughs> anyway I don't know. I think me and ColourPop, we just need to sit down because we're both like kind of putting out these weird things and I don't know. Like we need to take a beat. We need to take a moment. We need to like check in and just like regroup. Maybe go on a retreat. Maybe go touch grass. Be one with nature. When it's not 133,000 degrees outside. I don't know. We need to do better. That went out to a very weird place and I like to thank Tito's Vodka for that one. And just my mental state as of late. Funny story, my camera battery just died and I thought to myself, you know it'd be really funny if I just like cut the video there. <laughs> just cut the video. You know, don't even, don't even say anything, just cut the video, whatever. Moving on. And then I thought that would not be funny. <laughs> would not find that funny. Only you would find that funny, you sick bitch. Anyway, hi. All right, so um, I don't like this from ColourPop. This is kind of whatever. It's fine. It's just not ColourPop's best work. I, I don't, I feel nothing. <laughs> I feel nothing. This is a palette that they constantly keep releasing over and over again. And even the artwork on the outside of the palette, not enough for me to want to even consider buying it. But granted, I'm on their PR list, so it is going to arrive at my house. I already checked my informed delivery and it should be here very soon. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh on it. Obviously, when it comes in, I'm going to play with it and see um, if there's anything redeeming about it. But right now, just looking at it, no. <laughs> it's it's the same old shit. It's the same shit, new packaging. Like, that's clearly what this is. Like, same shit, new packaging. Um, but we're going to be nice because, you know what? It's 2023. It's hard. We need to be kind. And we need to be kind to each other. So, Daddy, I forgive you. <laughs> and I hope you forgive me. Next. <laughs> oh, the makeup gods has finally, finally answered my prayers because House Labs bitch is coming out with a hydrating motherfucking concealer, okay? I love me some House Labs. Where are you? Here you are. I love their foundation. Their foundation is so fucking good. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. I was kind of in the House Labs mood and I'm very happy that I did put it on my face because now I'm super excited about the fucking concealer that is going to be coming out very, very soon. So this one retails for $32. It's 31 shades. It's a medium buildable coverage with a natural finish that is long lasting, non comedogenic, blurs, depops, and brightens, formulated with niacinamide, fermented arnica, and hyaluronic acid complex. Now, the shade range is a little fucking weird, right? Because it seems like, I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of fair options, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of deep options, but it seems like a lot of, like, in between, in the middle. Also, wait, how many, let me go to Sephora, because how many, how many foundation, how many foundations? <laughs> how many foundations? <laughs> uh, how many shades? I guess there's 51 shades. I thought there was 50 shades. Oh, you know what I see? What is this one? There's like a, a 000 fair neutral shade. Wow. Like I'm uncooked chicken, but that's really uncooked chicken. God damn. Okay. <laughs> I look like a fucking plump fryer compared to that shit. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. All right. So, um, 
Yeah, kind of weird, right? That there's only 30 shades. Is that weird? I feel like it is weird. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of like the amount of shades that they have because it just feels like there's a lot of gaps in between compared to their actual shade range for the foundation. So I'm not excited about that. It's weird because like when I look at the bottles, it feels like there's not really a good shade representation for those that are like in the deep realm and then those are in the fair realm. But then when I look at the deep realm, it really, it's, it kind of seems very clear that there really isn't that much. But then on the lightest arm, some of them kind of look the same. And even the arm next to it, I don't know. I need to see this shit in person because I'm like, this, this is kind of wild or whatever. But beyond that though, I am really excited to try this because if it's anything like the fucking foundation or the powder, it's gonna be awesome. The foundation is so good. If you are looking to get a new foundation from Sephora, this is one of the best ones that they have there. One of the best ones, hands down. It's such a good, comfortable formula. And if you are someone that has drier skin, it's so nice. And like, it has this beautiful natural finish that it's not too radiant. It's not too matte. It's right in the middle. It feels like your skin, but better. It's fucking glorious. I am obsessed with this. And I really, hope, I really sincerely hope that the, the concealer is gonna do it justice because otherwise that is just fucked up. It's fucked up and I, oh God, I don't wanna put that energy out there, you know? I already did it with Glam Light and you see what happened there. <laughs> I can only hope that it's going to be good. But so yeah, I'm gonna be really upset if this doesn't really pan out uh, because that's a fucking shame. But with that said, Kind of disappointed that the shade range doesn't seem to be as expansive as the foundation line, but I'm still excited to try it because I really love the foundation product and I really hope they don't let me down. Anyway, so I'm gonna call this, put it on my motherfucking face because I really wanna put this on my motherfucking face and expect a review when it comes out sometime in September. Next. Fenty. I feel like for a minute there, Fenty has just kind of been putting out a lot of lip products. So it was kind of like exciting to see a complexion product, even though I don't really give a shit about the... <laughs> I feel like I haven't cared about the complexion products in the hot minute. I did like the skin tint. I think I, no, I did like the skin tint. I think I like skin, now I can't, no, I can't fucking remember. I can't remember. No, I like the skin tint. No, I like the skin tint. I like it. I feel confident with that answer. Anyway, <laughs> so this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. A natural skin flex. Ooh. Fast, lightweight coverage formulated with mamuru butter that melts into skin. Long wear, light buildable coverage that resists fading and transferring. Excuse me, okay. Blurring and second skin finish 25 shades. This will also be available starting today. Oh, well, actually on the 11th when you see <laughs> when you see this video. But this, I mean, I'm intrigued. I'm kind of fucking intrigued and I kind of want to try it and I don't, oh, yeah, we have to, try, we have to try it for science. We have to try it for science. I love being disappointed. I really do. <laughs> for the shade range on this guy, I feel like it matches the skin tint, but when it comes to the shades on the deep side, it looks like a really good representation. In the middle, it looks pretty good. When it gets to the lighter side, I don't think it's really that great. So it's one of those products where I feel like I need to go like in the store just to swatch to make sure that it does work. But if the numbers correlate to that skin tint, then it should be fine, which I feel like that's usually the case with Fenty Beauty. That's the one thing that I can at least appreciate is that the numbers have been consistent. I kind of am excited to try this, even though I really haven't been like super excited about Fenty products. Um, I don't know, they really haven't been getting me, but this I'm like, oh God, I can kind of fuck with this. I'm, I'm into it. And I love the fact that there are more light long wear buildable options as of late. Maybe it's because it's a, a fucking pizza oven where I live. <laughs> but um, the only thing I found lately that has been really, really actually pretty kind of decent. And by decent, I mean, it doesn't completely melt off my fucking face. is that hourglass shit. That hourglass veil, whatever, whatever. That skin tint thing is actually really fucking good and withstands the heat pretty well. So I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be another option that's like that. So anyway, um, I'm excited to try this. We're gonna call it trying it for science because I'm a bitch that loves trying things for science and we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. This fucking beast, I can't. I fucking, I can't bitch. But am I gonna buy it? <laughs> Ah, so our good friends over at Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with an ad 
punishment calendar, which uh, I mean, I, I'm a glutton for punishment, okay? I love getting the fucking mystery box. I love being disappointed by that. I think for two years in a row, I got the advent calendar, or if not two, it was definitely last year. This is Charlotte's Lucky Chest of Beauty Secrets, 12 drawer beauty advent calendar for $210. Oh, I could kind of call this two different things. For me, this is very much a product that won't die. Every year, she comes out with this shitty advent calendar that it's just not fucking worth it. It's not worth it. It never is. But I love buying it because I love shitting on things. <laughs> I love shitting on things. And sometimes they might throw in a lipstick or a little fucking quad that, you know, kind of gets me a little excited. But in reality, I would have saved a lot more money had I just bought the fucking product separately and not waited for this stupid box. But where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in me responsibly going to the store and just buying one or two items when I can spend a lot more money and get something that I'm never going to use? <laughs> I mean, I like it. I mean, but also like I am a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I am a glutton for punishment. I was born in the 80s. It makes sense, you know, but I kind of fucking love it and hate it and all of the above. For me, this is like one of the best holiday things, but also one of the worst holiday things. I do love me an advent calendar and I feel like Yes Style makes the best advent calendar. Everyone else, it's, it's fucking bad. <laughs> Remember that one that was it last year? I think it was Chanel. They came out with, what was it, like a thousand dollars or like 500 bucks? It was like an astronomical number. And I think half of the stuff in there was just paper. <laughs> Like, it's just the luxury brands have the balls to fucking do this stuff. It's fucking wild. Anyway, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> and maybe I'm a little inebriated, but I know me. And I know when this becomes available, I'm gonna buy it because I, you know what? Deep down inside, I know this is not gonna be good, but maybe, maybe this is the year that's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's kind of like the Beautylish Lucky Bags. Like, I love getting them. I love getting them. Like, I know. I know half that stuff I'm going to give to a friend. <laughs> I know deep down inside, but for that moment, the anticipation leading up to it, thinking that you're gonna score big to only score shit, priceless. <laughs> you can put, can't put a price on that. I love this. I, I hate it and I love it, and it's a product that will never die. It should die, but it won't, and um, in a, a horrible way, I'm here for it. So. <laughs> I expect a review whenever the fuck it shows up, but it, technically I could call this like two different things because I guess it's like a holiday. We can't escape that. Fuck it, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna, I know some people get a little like, no, you can't do two things. It's whatever, today's fuck, I don't care. Okay, it's August, who gives a shit? I'm gonna call this two different things. We're gonna call it a product that won't die and we can't escape the holiday makeup because it's a holiday product and it, this deserves to be both. I agree. <laughs> I'm drunk. Next. First of all, I thought this said pillow talk and I was very confused. <laughs> I was like, wait, M Cosmetics is doing pillow talk too? Like, no, that's not possible. Charlotte's gonna be really pissed off. Okay, so M Cosmetics. Now I love M Cosmetics. I love all their products with the exception of their liquid liner. I could fucking care less about and the fact that they got rid of my coal pencil. <sighs> I, I'm mad about that still. But beyond that though, really, really, really enjoy their powder products. Love them to pieces. I'm a little taken back <laughs> by this pillow blush. There's two shades. It's Peanut and Tickled, okay? A highly sensorial blush. That's a, okay. A highly sensorial blush with a unique cushion texture, leaving a flush of matte color as pillowy and soft as a baby's cheeks. Okay, all right, so it's kind of like Campbell Soup Kid-ish, but not quite, like more of like a softer Campbell Soup Kid. Hybrid formula blends gel, cream, and powder into a springy, supple texture. That is weird. Okay, but I'm kind of into it. Sounds kind of sexy. Infused with ceramides. Oh God, I love that fucking word. Peptides and vitamin E to help condition skin. Effortless application with your finger or a brush. While this blush can be used with an applicator of your choice, it's designed for easy fingertip application. The claims are cruelty-free, vegan, no PFAs, PFOs, paraben-free, dermatologist tested, hypo, allergenic, no gluten ingredients or asbestos. Okay, so it's, I'm kidding about that last <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I hope it doesn't have asbestos in there. It just doesn't say that in the post. That's what I meant, okay? Not that this has asbestos. Oh God, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Anyway, so these are $26 a piece. I'm not a fan of the packaging. I think the packaging is really kind of gross. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not into it. And I'm a little bit like, what the fuck is this? I'm so used to them having, I don't know, it's like kind of cute, girly, like vlogger girl, vlogmas Christmas aesthetic. <laughs> Like everything is kind of like just really cute and shit. And this is, oh my God, wait, uh, excuse me? Hold on, I just got a message in. Sorry, totally, I don't even know what the fuck that was. I love when I get like really weird text messages. I just got one right now that's like, oh, your USPS package is being held. Which by the way, they're supposed to be the USPS and they left a bunch of like weird emojis like roller coaster, girl waving her hand up, hot dog. <laughs> all this stuff and it's from like Ashley at yahoo.whatever but they're pretending to be the USPS. Sorry that just threw me for a loop because I was like wait when did the USPS get all fancy with emojis? They didn't. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, mini palette knife. What the fuck? They're selling knives now? Wait a second. What is this? It's a versatile makeup tool. They're selling knives. Where were you when I lived in New York? <laughs> <sighs> Memories. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't like the packaging. It kind of feels a little drugstore and not in a good way. I don't know, I'm just, I really hate the component and because of that, it's making me not want to pick it up. And I know, and well, I, not that I know, but I feel like <laughs> deep down inside um, that this product is probably gonna be good because I really do love their cream blushes, but their packaging is just kind of like so lackluster. I don't know, I really love, I really love their other packaging and this just feels kind of weird. Like I, it doesn't feel like it belongs to the brand. The brand has a certain, Aesthetic. It's very clean lines, kind of pretentious in a weird way, but also not really kind of like cultish. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> like it's adorable, you know? Um, we all sit at the welcome table. And if you know what that is, <laughs> if you know, you know, love that episode. Anyway, I just, I don't know makes me not want to buy it because it just looks kind of shitty. It doesn't fit. One of these images don't belong and this is the one. I don't know. Um, but am I going to probably buy it? <laughs> yes. Uh, if I keep drinking long enough, the packaging is going to start looking a little bit more pleasing to the eye and that's when I'm going to probably pick it up. And then when I get it in the mail, I'm going to be like, what the fuck is this? But then I'm going to try the formula and I'm going to be like, oh my God, you're amazing. And it's going to be like the geeky girl taking her glasses off for the first time. And now everyone knows she's hot. That's probably what it's going to be like. And for that, I don't think I have that on my bingo card. So we're just going to say nothing and we're going to keep on keeping on because this is just way too long winded. Next. Why do I want this? I don't I don't check for Estee Lauder and this is gonna piss some people off and I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry. It's funny in my eyes anyway. Um, I don't feel like I hit that age range yet. Like I haven't hit that bucket of, uh, <laughs> of how old I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, seriously, like, I feel like Estee Lauder is for a woman of a certain age. I, I just, yeah, like I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me. Anyway, I haven't really been checking out this brand or anything like that. But then I saw this and I kind of was like, <laughs> Who are you? Who, how the fuck did you get up here? Um, I'm kind of into it. This is a limited edition pure color highlight and contour matte duo. Oh, it's available now? Oh, bitch, I really... <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy it. This is so stupid. Highlight and contour with this all-in-one limited edition compact. Enhanced with natural beauty this Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Did you just say Valentine's Day? It's not even fucking Halloween. How dare you come into this house and disrespect us? What? With an all-in-one highlight and contour matte, what? Okay, the shimmering and matte powders help achieve a naturally highlighted and defined look. Luminous and youthful with minimal effort. Our perfect blend of sheer pearlescent and microfine matte powders create a subtle glow without being shiny. Ugh, ugh, I hate it. The warm contour matte shade adds definition and dimension. Buttery soft texture blends easily into the skin, making it virtually mistake proof for beginners. Show everlasting love for yourself or someone else with this beautiful <laughs> limited edition compact. Two nines become one heart in this lovely design. Limited edition. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me right now? What is this? Wait, why is it for Valentine's Day? Why am I putting it in my cart? <laughs> why? Oh my God, what is? Wait, that's what we should do. We should do a, a fucking um, drunk purchase video, going to Estee Lauder and trying to figure out what to buy. Anyway, what the fuck? Hold on, wait a second. New makeup. 
Wait, okay, I'm, I'm on their website. It literally says Valentine's Day. This has to be a fucking mistake. But why am I adding it to my car? <laughs> oh, whatever. Fuck it, we're gonna add it to the bag. I'm so confused. Ooh, the lipstick looks fun. Okay, we need to do a video about this brand. Everything looks the same. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. I'm... <laughs> We're gonna get a lipstick because it's like a crystal lipstick. I don't even know what the fuck that means. But I like the shade Crystal Baby because that looks fun. It's a light pinky peach with a warm undertone. Ooh, an innocent nude with a warmer pink undertone. Ooh, I kind of like that. I also don't like the fact that you can't really see the colors. Okay, maybe we're not gonna get the lipsticks and we're just gonna get the little compact. We're just gonna get the little compact and we're gonna keep on keeping on and I'm gonna include this in a video. I'm gonna laugh when I do uh, buy this um, and it shows up and I'm gonna be like, when the fuck did I get this? I'm like, oh yeah, make a bingo. Anyway, I'm excited. I still don't understand it, but maybe I'm not supposed to. Drunk me would buy it. <laughs> Next. All right, so the next product we have is from, ooh, okay. I, I kind of fucking love them. I love Kelly Ray, and it's so funny because I feel like when I first, I don't know, seen them or whatever, I was like, oh, who gives a fuck about this brand? And then slowly but surely, I've been collecting more and more things, and I've actually been really enjoying them, and I feel like such a fucking idiot. But I like it, though. So Kelly Ray is coming out with the SoCal Super Bloom Lip and Cheek Blush Hydrating Soft Stain with Hyaluronic Acid, retailing for $28 a piece. Long wear lip and cheek stain with hydrating hyaluronic acid and squalane. Uh, it's coming soon. It looks good. I love it. Can't wait to put it all over my fucking face. Although I will say that Heat Wave and Wildflower kind of look exactly the same. So that should be interesting. So I don't think I need all of them. <laughs> I think maybe one or two will suffice. Um, but this is something though that I feel more um, excited about when there's like a Sephora sale. Because it's like one of those products where I'm like, I don't necessarily need to like have it right now. But when it's on sale, great like fucking all over it and that's kind of what this is but i know when i get it for that sale price it just oh god it just feels like i won <laughs> like i won the lottery somewhere um so i'm into it so i'm really really into this one i think it's gonna be really really fucking cute and you know everything that i've tried like i said from Kelly ray has been fantastic and this better not disappoint me otherwise i will riot i don't think i can call this anything except i'm very excited about it give it to me now daddy which is not really on my bingo card so i give... no next <laughs> I kind of love this, but I feel like Real Techniques hasn't been... I don't know, something happened to them. I feel like when I first started kind of getting into makeup, I really loved their brushes. I used their brushes all the time. It was like that and Luxie, loved them to pieces. And then I got to the point when I started to buy more brushes, right, actually from both brands. Luxie, the brushes would snap in half. I was like, I, I don't have Hulk strength, but apparently I do. Um, <laughs> so it would always like snap apart. Didn't like that. And then when it came to Real Techniques, I always felt like the brushes shed. Now I'm kind of familiar with that, especially when it comes to like, natural hair brushes not so much like eye brushes but definitely face brushes i feel like i had like a fair amount of shedding but when it comes to synthetic i feel like that rarely happens but with real techniques it happened for me a lot i love the sponges i love little orange sponges until i found obviously the only sponge that really matters which is from shop miss a the paw paw sponge but this is like exciting because it's really fucking pretty i love the whole again vlogger vlog miss marble laptop fucking basic bitch plant mom aesthetic like <laughs> I don't know like I love this I think it's really really cute I really love that nude color I think it elevates it and it makes it feel luxury which is really fucking cool but I just side eye because I wonder if they have fixed their brushes I haven't had a real technique brush in a minute so maybe I'm the only one that has really had that kind of experience but that kind of made me stop wanting to like check the brand out um but this is fucking cute and this is something that's really adorable and if I saw this like in Target I would totally pick this up this is really cute especially the makeup bag the makeup bag looks looks really really good so I like this it's different it's really really different so again I really hope that the quality is good but I would love to hear from y'all if you have had that same experience like I have it's off-putting it kind of sucks you know but in any case um, I think this is really gorgeous I don't think I can call this anything except maybe one day if you change your shit <laughs> which is not on my bingo card so I'm gonna say next next So 
So the next one is from, okay, this is from Teddy Fresh. Now, if you've never heard of Teddy Fresh, H3H3, which is a YouTube channel here on YouTube. <laughs> It's basically one of the oldest YouTube channels, I feel like. Um, they've been doing this for eons. Pretty much a commentary channel and a commentary podcast. And one of the things that they're famous for is Teddy Fresh. And, and Teddy Fresh is owned by Hila Klein, which is Ethan Klein, H3H3's wife. So now that you know all the history there, Teddy Fresh is really fucking cute. Like it's cute streetwear. Me and Alex, we had beanies. We bought beanies from them. <laughs> Very good quality. Never got anything beyond that. They're more like, I guess, iconic pieces or like all their color block stuff. Like it's really cute shit. It looks like Hila Klein is potentially going to be expanding into cosmetics, which should be fucking interesting because when I think of them, I don't really think of cosmetics. I think more fashion, but I feel like as of late, you know, it kind of just seems to go hand in hand with fashion companies. Is, they eventually branch off and make cosmetics. So I kind of feel like it's in line. But again, this is an oversaturated market. Do we really need another brand? <sighs> no, but more the merrier. <laughs> like, like I'm kind of curious, see what they're gonna put out. I feel like at least the packaging and the presentation is gonna be really fucking cool. Just based off the brand's overall aesthetic and vibe, like that kind of makes sense. Um, but I can't imagine what the fuck they're gonna put out. There are no other details at this time, but we'll definitely update if the new developments will happen, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so at this time there really isn't anything, but I feel like when someone releases a statement like that, it's only a matter of time within like a couple of months, they're gonna like fucking release a whole line of shit. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see something from them, say around the holidays. I don't think I could really call this anything except I guess new influencer brand because you know they're kind of like they're their own separate entity but they kind of started as like youtuber influencers so we're just gonna call it like a new celeb new influencer brand i'm gonna keep on keeping on but i'm curious i have no expectations but again i feel like at least the packaging will be fucking on point so for that i'm kind of excited about it anyway um yeah i got nothing else next There you have it, kids. That's it. Another one in the books for this week. Um, I'm so worried about glam life. <laughs> That's all I keep thinking about. I'm just worried. Oh, God. I feel it in my stomach. I feel it in my stomach. Anyway, um, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below um, if you're into any of this makeup this week or if you're like, ugh, this is fucking boring. Let me know because I love hearing from you. Definitely go check out Imperfectly M and tell her I said hi. And of course... I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Appreciate it. I truly appreciate it. I don't know what slithered out of my mouth, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram. Are we on threads? I don't think, I think we're all off threads at this point. Just follow me on Instagram. That's where I am. Nowhere else. <laughs> Although I probably should get on TikTok because that's where everybody is, but I just don't feel like doing it. It's just, ugh, it's so much. <laughs> But it doesn't matter because I want to say a very, very special thank you to my beautiful, wonderful patrons and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, beautiful, trashy, really filthy, really trashy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, but very beautiful. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you and I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, if I remember, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins on Sunday for a spooky haul. Bye.